Now let's turn to the UK where a new scandal has erupted involving British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and a pair of Adidas sneakers, Adidas Sambas to be precise, one of the brand's most popular sneaker designs. It seems the British PM has now ruined Sambas for everyone. How? Just by wearing them apparently, and you might think I'm joking, but look at these headlines. Adidas Sambas were this year's coolest shoes until Rishi Sunak got a pair. The UK Prime Minister just ruined this classically cool sneaker. Did a politician ruin a trendy shoe? Or this over-the-top plea from British GQ, can Rishi Sunak leave the Adidas Samba alone, please? As you can see, the press is having a meltdown because Sunak wore some sneakers. It sounds absurd until you consider the context. Sunak is deeply unpopular in the UK. He's an unelected prime minister put in charge by his party, the UK Conservative Party, also known as the Tories. The Tories have been in power since 2010, and they've, they've overseen a disastrous period in British history. Economically, the country is in the dumps, with high inflation and a cost-of-living crisis. Part of the reason is the war in Ukraine, but a lot also has to do with Brexit. The Tories led Britain out of the European Union and British people are still paying the price for it. So what do the Tories do? Pin the blame primarily on illegal immigration and keep rotating prime ministers, probably in the hopes that people get confused and don't hold the party accountable. So Sunak is prime minister number five, chosen to be the fall guy after the disaster that was Liz Truss. Whatever their other failures, the Tories have successfully gotten the public to hate Sunak. And now everything he touches turns to ash. And that apparently includes the iconic Adidas Sambas. Now don't get me wrong, Sunak is not innocent. He's equally at fault for his unpopularity. He was part of the senior Tory leadership even before becoming Prime Minister. He championed some of these disastrous policies. So there's good reason for the public anger. Abby. The reaction to his sneakers wasn't just about anger. It was also cringe. Sunak released two videos last week, both from his office, 10 Downing Street. He's talking to some finance influencers about tax and childcare policies, which is not the worst part. What really annoyed people was that at this moment, in the hallowed halls of 10 Downing Street, talking about taxation and childcare, Rishi Sunak decides to flaunt the sneakers. He was trying too hard, pretending to be the average Joe. When it's the opposite, that's true. Sunak is a multi-millionaire politician, the richest prime minister in British history, married to one of the richest Indian entrepreneurial families. Sunak is the definition of elite, but he expects the public to believe he's an every man, someone who relates to, them, to their issues, to the masses, because he wears the same shoes as everyone else. Full marks for trying. And being rich is no crime. But this doesn't work. And this is not a one-off incident. Rishi Sunak has consistently drawn One criticism for cringe. In February, he released this video. It was to promote a British ban on phones in school. One of the biggest issues... Ch One of the biggest issues children and teachers grapple with every day is the... Imp is the impact of... See how frustrating that is. Almost one third of secondary school pupils said their lessons were disrupted by phones. We know that they're a distraction in the classroom and cause bullying in schools. His acting was considered peak cringe. Then there was his other foray into acting, his Home Alone style Christmas skit. The media called it bizarre. <laughs> He's trying hard, but no matter what Sunak does, he gets flack for it. The Samba Rao isn't even his first footwear fail. Back in 2022, he was slammed for wearing Prada shoes worth about 500 pounds to a construction site. That, of course, seems far more in character than the Sambas. The Samba stunt just seems performative. And it has spectacularly backfired. Sneaker heads are aghast and the press are going to town with it. So Sunak has come out with a cheeky apology.
Well, first of all, I just issue a fulsome apology to the Samba community. Um, but in my in my <laughs> in my defence, I would say I have been wearing Adidas trainers and Sambas and others, in fact, for many many years. One that is unlikely to undo the damage.